you think it's a good song? Oh, thank you. It's wonderful. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. We're in Kukuldi at Victoria Hospital radio station, me and Aunt Sarah. Um, doing the signature song for Moving On TV, our TV station, our community TV station. We've got Mark here. Wave, Mark. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Very kindly, he's uh, interviewing us. And so, not all alone, our signature song is going to come on in a minute. And you're going to be able to see this on Moving On TV. Yes. How we're going around different radio stations and getting the song out there for to combat depression, loneliness, and BPD, therapeutic communities, no meds. Okay, take care. Here we go. Well, that's us back. Uh, Toya Wilcox here, of course, and uh, I want to be free. Well, we all want to be free, don't we? Uh, Definitely. Uh, right, I've just, look, we're just about to play your tune, so um, I'm going alone. to let you... It's all alone. Not all alone. Not, Not all, all alone. alone. Yes. I get the knot in. <laughs> <laughs> very, very important. Very important, yeah. Not all alone. So, oh, to yeah. Be not all alone. To be not all alone. That's it. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy, everyone. Thank you for listening in. It's basically supposed mm -hmm. to st it starts off like a horror movie. Yeah. And yeah. you have like the howling in the background. Mm -hmm. This is and the video. That's one of the testimonials we've had. Should be the lead track for a thriller film. Yeah, it's very atmospheric. Oh. That's how atmospheric. we did it. We did it in the graveyard. Yeah. yeah but the song will come on in a minute. Mm -hmm. It builds up. Oh, we can't hear it. There you go. That's my the biggest thing I've ever done editing wise. That's good. I taught, That's I taught, good, I taught myself. Thank you I've very tried much. a bit of video editing myself and I just <laughs> really? don't know. I come up with all sorts of problems with things yeah. not being compatible and No, no, no I, And I couldn't do it to save my life, you know, I ever sing it. Sorry? And some acting. And some acting as well, yeah. <laughs> it was good fun. Yeah, it was really good fun. For us, um, a musician right. arranged it. Where's your camera again? That one? Yeah, it's just some way cut and do videos. I did try it, but um, see, I'm not a, an IT person like you, yeah, so. Oh, there you go. That's good. I remember, I didn't realise you still got those two swords like that. Yeah, we did. We were actually, we were actually yeah, mildly surprised when we went to Burnt Island Park to Sorry. the final filming. <laughs> yeah, the song. And it was stretched over two two nights. Um, yeah. The graveyard scene, etc. Um, probably part of the indoor scenes. Um, yes. That's what's like with the kids. kids. Yeah. So it signifies how I've come yeah. out of my depression and I realise the self-help books out I have friends, there is hope. Yeah. Because, no, no, it's um, playful as well. Yeah, it yeah. Is. You know, yeah. adults are allowed to have fun, not yeah. just kids. Oh, yes. yeah. So Definitely. we wanted to show that, it's innocence. One of know? the guys I work with, he's a, he's a big kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, there you go. Right, it worked. So you, you kind of got a little bit of... Um, us um, on um, well, there you go. We're there you go. Uh, back, uh, back you. to our guest this evening, and uh, 
we we've just played their their tune not not all alone and uh did you write all the lyrics all yourself or uh I wrote you, the whole thing. You wrote the whole thing. I and write the whole thing. <laughs> who composed the music? Standing standing by a bus stop um, about twenty years ago when someone ditched me probably. In your head? In your head. The whole thing. Music, lyrics. I have written musicals. I've been writing songs since I was seven. Seven right. years old. Very good. Um, but this is, I think, is one of my better ones. I think the words are very, very poignant. Yeah, we both said that. Yeah. That was just a, such yeah. a tremendous achievement. It's yeah. about, yeah. My, you see, the thing is that we never realised until until I got involved with mental health and, and you know, and all that side of things, I'd, I didn't realise that um, the song was actually about the, pa the, ma the mind. The thing with words with songs, a lot of people don't actually listen to the lyrics mm. uh, and you can you can totally surprise people by telling them what the lyrics are in a song because they they're like, oh, I really like that song but they exactly. never really picked up on the story that the song mm. is telling so, so yes the idea so behind if, it if you can take mm. us through the song okay um, from the beginning okay and tell us what it's actually Okay. What the well, I'll put is. this down. Or, you know, people yes. write about war and politics. Well, and yes. Sort of I grew up in, in the Middle East, in terrorism and wars and, you know, and stuff like that. And I work for peace. I've, I've, so I've, this is where the other part of your accent's coming from. I'm Irish, yeah. believe it or not. All right. And, I, and I'm an Irish Jew. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was Irish born in, in the Irish Jew. Name of <laughs> Pardon? I arrest you. I arrest you in the name of the law. That's what it sounds like. I arrest you. Yeah. I was born Doesn't in Ireland it? and I grew up in Israel. And I, I've made a film with a thousand kids um, to bring them together. I've been in mosques and synagogues doing a song about interfaith and peace that I wrote. Uh -huh. And I made a film about that. But the um, I'll tell a story to tell. And uh, sometimes it's not that easy to unwrap the story uh, mm -hmm. without knowing a little bit about it. And sometimes people, of course, don't always listen to the words. They just listen to the music and they maybe even go, oh, I like those words and things, but they don't really link them together and pick up on what it's telling us. Mm. So take, if you could take us a little bit through the song. Okay. Yes, thank you, uh, Mark. Yeah, um, the idea of the song um, itself is uh, the character that I play, I, I look dreadfully uh, dreadfully awful dressed as a goth, by the way, because I look entirely different in real life with myself well, acting. acting. It is, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. To the better colour, I may add. Um, and so yeah, playing the part the of, of the, um, goth, the gothic good. image, if you like, because so I'm signifying... Chick to goth. Yes, absolutely. So I'm signifying someone who has gone over to the edge of insanity. The reason being is, uh, myself being the vocalist for the song, is that I've... Um, um, suffered from the bereavement of the boyfriend who has actually um, committed suicide because he was the victim of crime and um, I'm seeing in the actual video itself seeing ghostly images of him appearing yeah. on the gravestone on the grave. <laughs> so it's signifying in my mind uh, the, these, um, these emotional images and I can't seem to get him out of my mind yeah. so therefore again taking me over to the brink of insanity yeah. um, I sort of kind of lose control and there's quite a sort of interesting um, out of the 50 video clips we've done for um, the whole video of the song um, I'm having a a bit of road rage in my car as well which is really quite amusing because I actually play the part of someone who's purely just tipped over the edge because I can't get over the death of yeah. this ex-boyfriend. He keeps turning up his face. Mm. Yes, he keeps there. appearing in my imagination so I'm getting kind of uh, ghostly visions and what have you. So uh, then... Um, yeah, I think a um, few people could probably relate to that. Yes, Definitely. absolutely. Grief. It's grief, grief. it's yes. bereavement. Yes. Grief is huge. Grief is yes, a big it is. thing and mm -hmm. it needs Definitely. to be dealt with properly. Yes, and so this is the idea. What, yeah, it is, yes. Mm. Yeah, and it just signifies the whole idea of mental health and that um, through sort of probably halfway through the video towards three quarters of it is that I gradually see the light as it were. So I'm dressing up in bright clothes and meeting new friends. Right. So um, this is you coming out the other side of it. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Colours, colours yeah. are very Bright colours. Mm -hmm. For depression. And colours it signifies hope. Very important. Yes. Mm. Incident, you know, with yeah. our band name being Sarah's Hope, so and then we it's dance got a good hook well, to it. 
we do the play yes. playful thing. And then Aunt Sarah goes back to her blonde, uh, her natural colour. Yes. And it shows us having fun and, you know, going mm -hmm. back to being children again with fun. But it, it's fantastic. What Aunt Sarah just said is, is spot on. Thank you. But I want to look more at the symbolism of the words because yes, it yes. actually does show you the whole mind. We're, we're looking at the mind and how the mind works. So if we look at the thoughts I have of you, you're always on my on mind, my mind. Mm -hmm. circling, circling round my brain. It happens all the time. OCD, yes. OCD. It won't go away, it won't get away. Yeah. Um, I close my eyes and a vision will appear. Mm -hmm. So again, the he's there all the, the time. Side, yes. Wish that you were next mm -hmm. to me, but you're no longer here. Wish mm -hmm. we were together, not all alone. The anger you display, I really cannot take. So we're talking about rage, of loss, um, of, of trying to get through, in, and she can't get through in any way. Mm -hmm. Want to break the barriers that you and I would make. So it's, it's about trying to get through to people when you have a barrier between you. Uh -huh. Well, the barrier here is death, but it's more about the mind. When the mind cannot say what when you don't the person can't say what they want to say they can't express themselves that's a barrier mm -hmm. um there'll well, always be have barriers themselves you know and yes that's right exactly and mm -hmm. but as i say the, you do that and particularly when you have a mental health issue you mm -hmm. isolate yes. and all the rage is and stuck inside of you and you can see this character that Aunt Sarah is playing is just, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what to do. I can't break these barriers. There's so much rage inside and I don't know what to do with it. Um, there'll always be a part of you down deep inside. You're in the corners of my heart. You're always on my mind. Wish we were together. I try to follow all the cycles of the night. Up and down the feelings go. I know mm -hmm. it isn't right. Bipolar. Up and down, yes. happy, yes. sad, happy, mm -hmm. sad. Mm -hmm. um, One extreme or another. Extreme, yes. yeah. Up Definitely. and down, the feelings go, I know it isn't right. Reaching out to and touch your like love. Can be flicking a switch inside you. And you can Absolutely. Go exactly. happy yeah. To yeah. Yeah. Reaching out to touch your love, but emptiness is here. Grief, mm -hmm. wish that we were here again. You'll always be there. And then it ends with, I feel the cold, dark night go trembling through my skin. Bar the doors and windows tight so I won't let him in. It, so it's like, that's it, it's, you know. It's like keeping um, out the depression as well. Uh, keeping but, everything. Yeah. It's, it's like it's coming to an end. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's coming to death. Mm -hmm. And you can see it, it's in black and white. Mm -hmm. And then the trees have finally shed their leaves and winter is here. That's death. Mm -hmm. That's the end. And, and so again, our love was... Winter is a depressing time. For yeah. Yes, yes. but it's well. a new beginning. So our love will slowly die mm -hmm. and I will shed a tear. Yes. Wish we were together, not all alone. She walks away from the grave and she starts starts her life again right, so it's in the, it sort of starts again terms, coming to terms with what's happened in all yes that. Yeah. so yes. you see the thing is this complex needs disorder that we call BPD it's got every single symptom of every single mental illness in it. Mm -hmm. So this is a song that represents that. You've got a little bit of agoraphobia, a little bit of depression, a little bit of OCD, a little bit of everything. Every single condition. They're not full blown mm -hmm. and that's why it's manageable when mm -hmm. you learn how to manage it. It's a bit like Woolworths where you go and pick a few a few sweets here, chocolates there. That's what it is. It's a complex yes. needs. So the song Not All Alone is showing you every single mental health issue. Yes. And and it's showing you in the video how you can manage it. And what sort mm. of do you know what sort of percentage of the population suffer with mental health uh, maybe throughout their lives or at particular points well a, do you want, uh, want me to be honest with you statistics there for us i think every single person is walking around with a personality disorder it's every single person yeah. it's just that when it gets to the level of grief huge grief um when you i've know people that have lost people and they've gone to the doctor they, instead mm -hmm. of being diagnosed with with um uh, grief they're being diagnosed with BPD or borderline or, or M bipolar, sorry, mm -hmm. which are completely different conditions. Yes. So I would say that everyone is walking around with it because we're living in such a stressful world and oh, people yes. are being shocked all over the place to some extent mm -hmm. because you see with this condition, you know the characters and I do a show called How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World and I talk about the martyr that we have inside of us I talk about the whinger that we have inside of us and I characterize them as mm -hmm. with my acting I always say 
Do you have a Whinger that you know? Do you have someone who's a martyr? Okay, I'm sorry to stop sorry. you just there, but we, we okay. need to go, in a, go to another tune. Okay, um, so it's just full-blown. It gets out of control, and that's what this condition is. Were you going to like this song? <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's Madonna and okay. Frozen. Thank you. The thing, though, is we're trying to build it up. I mean, we only did the video in June, mm -hmm. and uh, we're Still trying to build it just days, really yes. early days. Yeah. Um, but I, we believe that you know it's it's got such a catchy it's just such a catchy song that you know at some thank you uh, what we feel is um, that if we keep persevering with such a positive message people need a positive message and my book is coming out as I say I'm coming out in the book called Simply Amazing. Um, with another 11 authors. Back. So we're back. And we're back. There's, a, there's a lot of talking going on in the studio here. There's a lot of <laughs> very high people at the moment. They're not high. Not we're not high. No, they're just um, they're, uh, excited. excited. It's a they're difference. Pleased, they're pleased yeah. to be here. Yeah. Very pleased yeah. to be here. Very pleased. Thank if you. If I could say something about the book, maybe, and the, right. my, well, the story. I know you've got to go in a minute because yeah. you're running late already. We've got to go so and microchip I, little Bobby. <laughs> Bless I, him. I don't want to... Uh, <laughs> I don't want you to miss out on your vets appointment. No. So. But if I could just say that um, the story behind Not All Alone, which is basically uh, my part of it, you know, the story of my recovery in a therapeutic community, and that people should know as much as possible about that, how it works in, on the inside, and what made me sick in the first place. And, you know, I, my story was an incredible awakening that I realised that children cannot be guilty for what happens to them. And I, children carry everything you're, you're inside. You're born innocent. You're born innocent. And anything that hor horrible that happens to you, and this is to everyone, I love you so much. If you're carrying inside you thinking that you couldn't be guilty as a child, it's the adults who did what they shouldn't do. And when I realised that, and I realised that my parents had been silly or stupid by sending me to the wrong person when I was a child and what happened to me, mm -hmm. I got complete inner peace. And I do believe that this book, please God, there's 11 wonderful authors in there with me. A lot to do with mental health issues, most of us, I think. There's um, a Holocaust survivor in it, and he's in his 90s. Right, so this book This book is incredible. Out. Has it been published yet? It's coming out the 1st of October. It's called Simply Amazing, and it'll, hopefully I'll be doing talks at Waterstone, because I'm the only English author. The rest are all in America. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, the, um, it's been created by Casey Armstrong mm. of World Most Amazing People. Right. And I'm very, very proud to be involved in it because some of the stories are, like I say, so how many a Holocaust was survivor. There again in there? Eleven. Eleven, eleven stories, authors, and eleven I'm one authors, of them. And you're one of the eleven. Um, it's an interview that Casey Armstrong did with me about why I got sick and what happened to me mm -hmm. and why I didn't go downhill when I was in a wheelchair. I created my TV station and decided to go out there and help yes, more again, people. Yes, again, because being in a wheelchair can be, uh, a, a, especially if, if you suddenly find yourself in a wheelchair. Overnight. Used to being overnight. Yes, overnight. I just and, lost uh, Dad. Family cut me off yes. and I could not do anything. I was in, stuck in a wheelchair for four months. Mm. And if that doesn't drive you completely crazy, if that doesn't really push you I'm, off the edge, I'm bad then... enough if it rains out. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't yeah, think there's many too. people that do actually like being out I, in the rain. And you know what mm. I did because we didn't have any neighbours that came in at all, and I'm sorry about the community, but I pushed the wheelchair outside and I went around the neighbourhood and introduced myself to right. everyone and asked them to come in because that's the kind of person yeah. I am. So this book I is believe going in connecting. to be out in in the book in all good bookstores. Well. Uh, I have to. It will be coming out in America in a big way. They've got to sell eight thousand books, mm. and they we're all. If they sell eight thousand books, and there's eleven authors, then we all become um, New York bestsellers. Right. So my job is to sell it in England, mm -hmm. and there will be an ISBN coming out soon. I'm waiting for it because obviously Waterstones, I think, are the biggest store here in the mm -hmm. UK. But I'll be putting it around What's, everywhere. Is it Waterstones that's in Kirkcaldy? I can't remember. I don't know. I know. I that, think I there think is. I believe country. there is a, um, a water stone mm -hmm. in yeah, Cold. I you might have actually is, yes. passed it when I've been walking up and down yes, the street. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I'm. I'm not sure. Um, uh, what's going to happen because the publishers are doing a lot in America, and Casey Armstrong's getting standing ovations 
when he talks about the book and yes. what's in it. It's going to be the next chicken soup for the soul. That's what we're hoping. Right, it's so this all book, positive we're just stories. trying to get about where, where can we get this book when it comes out? Will it be oh, you'll have to. Oh, yeah, it? yeah. You, if you contact me, um, I'm going to give my email. It's Lauren with an E at movingontv.uk. That's now, the best way to get in touch yeah, with me. Now, I will put your details on our Facebook page Thank as you. well so that uh, anybody who wants to find out more about it or see yourself, and we'll put a link to yes. your Facebook Yes, and the song. Page. Everything's connected. Uh, and, right. yeah, if you want to support us, sponsor us, anything, we, you know, we need people to help us to buy the link. If you want to be part of it, if you want to sing on the video, you know, we'll add you on. <laughs> uh, anybody, we're just looking to make this a huge mm -hmm. positive noise, right. so to speak. We're also In looking, the whole of, you know, Yeah, we're also looking to do, eventually looking to do live performances as well, because mm. as we mentioned uh, earlier on, uh, um, uh, Lauren has just made uh, some more amazing um, more songs anyway, so to add to our compilation list we're actually encompassing more about three or four more songs to yeah. sort of make an album anyway All so right. we will eventually be uh, yeah. doing some street performances as well so yeah. okay. please come well, along recording. and we'd love to we're recording yeah. not all along so, yes. in a studio here in Kokodi isn't it? Yes we're going there, we're recording yeah. Remaining Broken Hearted which right. is our second rock number right, yeah. and so we've thank got you. you know so please God Sarah's Hope will be out okay. there giving yeah. people I'm hope I'm going to say thank you thank for coming you. along thank you so you've much, got Mark. To go. Yeah, we've got to go. And, and uh, we You're will man. put that stuff on Facebook. <laughs> we will put that, all that information on Facebook. Brilliant. Facebook and then you can send that to me and I will and, social uh, media it everywhere. Yeah. And thank you very much for having us, and, Mark. Uh, thank you, and Mark. And thank you, everyone, for listening to us as well. Thank you, everyone, on uh, Facebook Live as well. Uh, yeah. So you're, you're doing this journey with us. So we're looking forward to, yeah, when the book comes out, as I say. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Mark. And uh, take care, everyone. Say bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. So that's us signing off for Moving On TV. Mm -hmm. um, a wonderful interview here in Kokordi. Yes. Uh, looking forward to putting this on Moving On TV and sending it around. Mm -hmm. Lots of love. There'll always be a party. Sorry? Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Can you Thank you. You say that like was it? a good song. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you like it? Yes. 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 Right. Yeah. Oh, and well, she's, she, yeah, she wants to do that. Thank you.